So tip one is this. Jobs will be automated by AI. So what can you do about that? Well, there's several things you can do, but the quickest one you want to do is pick a job or a job category that involves a human touch and therefore is not as subject to being automated by AI. So let me give you a couple of examples, just general examples that will illustrate my point. One job is truck driver. Within the next 10 years, all those jobs will be automated. So you really don't want to pick becoming a truck driver. Why? Because huge companies are building self-driving trucks right now, some of which are already on the road and being tested. Who are those companies? Google through Waymo and Mercedes-Benz and Freightliner and Tesla. So these are giant corporations with trucks already well into development, some of which are in road testing. Do not pick that. <laughs> what is a better job to pick, just as an example? Nursing. Why? Nursing is very hands-on. It's very human touch oriented. It needs that emotional connection with patients that's very difficult to automate. So that's tip one. So now we're gonna do tip two uh, after talking about job automation. So tip two is that you have to be technology literate. You gotta be, and I'm not talking about your smartphone. You guys are all great with your smartphones. You're actually terrific with your smartphones, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is knowing how to interact with technology for work. If, if a lot of things are gonna be automated, you're gonna be using that automation to do things that the automation cannot do. So one thing that's really gonna be automated is accounting work, right? Not just the transactional accounting, that'll be the first thing and it's gonna, it's already happening, but it's gonna be, everywhere really soon. What is a human being really needed for, for example, with accounting, even with AI automation? One is analysis, right? And there's a reason for that. You will know the business better than your AI. Your AI will know the data better, much better than you, but you know your business, what the objectives are, what the vision is, and what the goals are. Um, your AI won't really know those, at least not for a longer period of time. So analysis is the type of job that will be protected longer than just doing transactional work in accounting, like accounts payable, accounts receivable, payroll, all that stuff. So pick something that's higher value, like analysis. Okay, so now we're gonna do tip three to wrap this up for today. And tip three is robots. So robots, you don't really see around too much. Uh, I did see one in Stop and Shop a few months ago. It followed me around. I think it thought I was gonna shoplift or something. Or it just wanted to let me ask questions. But it was an eerie experience. So you got to think, how are you going to feel when you see robots everywhere? Because that is coming. For example, I went to the Applied Artificial Intelligence Conference in San Francisco in 2018, and there was a robot there for stores. Um, and that robot will remember what you bought your last time by your face, it'll know you every time you come, what you buy, make suggestions, and contact you through its chat bot. <laughs> so these robots over time in stores, for example, are gonna know you better than you know yourself. 
because the robot will have all the data on all your purchases, whether they're essentials or impulse purchases, and it's going to read you like a book, so to speak. So you got to think about how you feel about that. Uh, more than that, there'll be uh, robots in Starbucks making and serving coffee. There'll be robots in restaurants. Uh, there'll be robots in uh, jobs like um, manufacturing, which there already are. But uh, warehouses, which is, uh, Amazon has this, but it's going to be everywhere soon. Warehouse sorting, sorting. So uh, FedEx and UPS are just introducing, literally just now introducing robots to sort packages every night at their hubs. Um, this is huge. Uh, UPS employs something like 336,000 people. How many of those jobs are gonna be automated over the next five to 10 years? A lot. This is why I'm giving you tips and uh, trying to steer you in a direction where you'll be protected from all of this. So each of these tips are going to impact you and soon, and that's a really great reason to subscribe, stay in the loop, know what's coming, and be prepared for it, which is what my mission is. My mission is to prepare you for the future.